Well, they, this footage will contain scenes of explicit violence and- Aw, oh, look at that jacket! It's cool! Capcom presents! Get excited! Yay. I mean, people were excited at some point. Oh, wow, it starts with the trailer, too. There's Lucia. Lucia! Trapped in this game. Oh, Never man. Never to return. Not even, not even that bad a character. I would shit. But she showed up and fought, like... But it's, like, invalidated by the existence of Lady. Very invalidated. Oh, yeah, I remember watching this trailer back when I was in high school. And being like, <laughs> Underwater. Oh, wow, Dante looks so much more... Oh, he can shoot look at in two it, directions! Two directions shooting! Shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah! Holy crap! Lumen, look at that Lumen Sage mode, right? Oh, you... Oh. You see that Lumen Sage mode, Lucia? I did. There's a, there's a, there was a fish, did you see it? Oh, and then the big city. Oh, where you fight Doe Attack? Oh my, dude, the dude, yeah, 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 the fucking aura of the cutscene, big dumb face coming out of the building, go! Holy shit, how is there a monster? Ah, oh, Menos Grande. I can't believe you remember that. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, the most distinct thing about this is the fucking, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. And the hair is better, and the model is, the model, and... The, the Devil Trigger looks really cool. Devil Trigger is there. He's... Oh, and he's serious now. Ooh. And it ain't Trich dancing anymore. It's it's Dante oh on goodness. his own logo with the big T. Get in there. This title screen is like out of the edge for sure. <laughs> it's the, uh, look at the, the D is cutting you. Oh my god. All right, let's get him. Dev, 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 devil may cry. And Trish is still there for some reason. I fucking complete. Oh, now I remember. Okay, I was like, I completely forget how this game starts. Long since. I mean, the visual upgrade is nice. It is. In an age. It was obvious. How how many years later? Was overrun with tunes. Was it that soon? Uh, I want to say it was 2001 to 2003 because I was still in high school when both these games came out. One was early high school. One was late high school. With a spirit unlike any other. Two discs and for no actual reason. This is a, a, a bug Sparta that... A bug. I don't even know bones. what to call it. This is a feature I personally discovered back in the day where you could eject Dante's disc during a Lucia's cutscenes and, like, eat any of her sections. And just resume. And, and just resume with the other character's disc and play multiple levels for the whole game. Because the games are basically, like... It's, they're identical. The only thing that's changed is the tag that says uh, what character you pick on the main menu. And I, I genuinely think they shipped the fucking game with two discs in order to make it seem twice as big. So that moment is the live-action moment yeah. from that trailer, right? That's what he's shooting, the heartbeat. Like, holy shit, Astana, I can't believe it. And then the, uh... He shot those birds that were trying to steal a coin. In the Indigo Prophecy Church. Yeah, that's a pretty good moment. My hair's white and I wear red. My hair's red and I wear white. Fuck, I didn't you even... Called. I didn't even put that together. So as you can tell, people at home, the tone is now wildly different. He's he's not wise cracking. He's not. Till next time, son of Sparta. Oh, she did have an accent. Didn't I, I she? completely forgot. Wow, they had. Where's, the, where's his like cocky? Uh, you know. Ba, 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 ba. They had the exact same moment. Did you see that? Where they shot past each other, but one had a knife. A knife that I remember controlling very badly. Now I and now we're in. Dante went towards here. the north. The hunter of dark blood will realize his destiny. Was this the ten-minute job with Trish? <laughs> I guess no. I guess not. Nah, man. Oh, that belt though. Look at the belt and look at the fucking buckles on the the, the thing. Yeah. I see it. Dante got some fucking. He got a nicer jacket. Hero land for the second time. Hello, I am a hero. All right, we're in. You can shoot. You can sidestep. 
you get you now have a dedicated dodge button, which is probably the single actual best thing about this whole game. You can shoot in multiple directions. Well, you can't do that unless there's enemies. Okay, well, that's that's the thing. Yeah, shooting in directions, rainstorm. For some not a reason, rainstorm. look look at <laughs> like you just get a you get a you have essentially a triple jump. You get yeah the, yeah, the and you get you get your high air hike right away. Um, Here's your new combo. That's your that is it. And that stinger. <laughs> do it, do it, do oh, it, do it. I'm having trouble because of the direction. Okay, what direction are you pressing to get that? So I was testing this yesterday. Um, Holy! That, that, that. Look, look at my fucking hands. That is me holding up. On the deep on the stick. That is holding down. Down right this now. This is back, upper left. But not relative back. Actually. No, no, it's it's also it's all over the place. This is me holding. Look at the direction. That is causing that. That is the direction I'm walking. Your stick is your stick was pointed, pointed to the up. right. Oh, oh, was okay. Up. Look right. Okay. But like there is a 270 degree angle that works. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Get it. Yeah. I don't know where to go. And then, and then it's it's been a long time. No fucking, no fucking thing. There you oh go. Oh god, I fucking forgot. You, your butt, your um. This is clearly supposed to look like Malay Island. Yeah. But the direction that you're holding the uh analog stick in causes you to do different combos. <laughs> There you go. Oh, wow. But look how sharp, though. Right? So that's the best combo in the game. There, by the way. It's neutral, neutral, and then forward. And it's like five side swings. I thought the best combo was the square button. No. <laughs> I meant sword combo. My mistake. Uh, by the way, to those at home who are wondering about what kind of cool uh, uh, weapons we're going to have in this game, uh, there's the sword. That he gets yep. uh, f uh, three different swords. Oh shit. Iconic battle theme from DMC2. Hit a button. Oh. Hit a button. So I want to point out. That you forgot. At, I want to point out. <laughs> I that forgot. That I after, we all forgot. After that cut, we laughed and <laughs> laughed and laughed. We, I, it, DMC2 is way worse than we remember. And honestly, what y'all saw was, was it. That's the whole game. You get weapons, but why? Do you remember the difference between gold and yellow? Uh, no. <laughs> gold it is, I guess. Cry. Um, you literally just walk and shoot. It juggles them by itself. I had no walk idea. Walk and shoot, and there's almost no purpose you heard to it. it. Haven't you? The legend of Sparta. When I was young, my father would tell me stories about it. I can't it. believe we're finally fucking... Long oh, yeah. ...finally doing this the shit. Times, so, the uh, the sidestep in the rain. The, the, the original race. trailer for DMC3, I remember, if you can go he look it up, one game trailer's trailer of the year for 2004, I believe. Because they sync up the move Let's list the with the fucking scene. song. And it's like <laughs> this amazing, like, apology video where he just shows off all these cool new moves. They're fluid. Look at them shirtless in the rain. Dude, what is going on? But I 
I discovered that this so-called legend wasn't a myth at all. Oh man. If Sparta only existed. If only my religious brother grew up to oh, fight me in the rain. <laughs> With machetes. Yeah. And then one of us tucks our hair up. Though the same blood of their father flowed through their veins. Oh fuck. Oh, look at those, oh, look at those anime, anime, anime kill a kill. Kill look at hell. He's slicing the rain around you into an it open seemed as if dome. They derived some sort of twisted pleasure from this brotherly fighting. I remember this was the the start of like Devil May Cry trailers having revealed, you mm. know? Uh, and I was like, oh, wh what? This is also just we're beefing because fuck it, right? Uh, Yes. It's one of the weirdest things where their original rivalry is actually really poorly defined. Oh, tuck it up! Tuck it up! Yeah, nigga! <laughs> tuck it up! It's rain! The water holds it together. Will you turn it around and pick up your sword? Get stung! <laughs> the fucking 180 stinger on it. Oh, look, there's a one on that pizza box. Something that we'll talk about just in a minute. Oh, but he's fine, though. He's that, fine. That was a flash forward. It was a cutscene that was happening in, uh, in Meteor Res. No, but no, but I mean, we know he's fine, because look at Dante, he's young. Oh, wow. He doesn't even have a coat on. Sorry, not open for business yet. And his face is all melty like a teenager. <laughs> yeah! For this joint, and I'm already getting calls. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. come to think of it, back in DMC3, when he's starting the place up, he's getting calls all the time. You in one, it's like, too? eh. And now in mm -hmm. five, it's like, oh, I'm broke. Yeah. <laughs> if you want to use the bathroom, help yourself. I mean, it's, you know, Between like, as we as we get older, we lose spunk. So going mean, back in time for maximum it. spunk is, a, is yeah. the best, best fucking plan. Where did you hear that? From your brother. Mm hmm? Mm hmm? He sent this invitation. What a obviously evil man. So the cutscenes here were directed by the, I want to say, action director for Versus. Versus, exactly. Yuji yes. Shimomura. Yep. Which went on to get shit tons of work with everybody in the character action scene, <laughs> including uh, Twin Snakes. No, that was Rihei uh, Kitamura. Kitamura. Yeah, oh, it was the director. Yeah! <laughs> Reaching mouth for that pizza. And, uh, uh... Like, so the cutscene director for this also does Bayonetta. Which will become very obvious. So here's your tone setter, right? Oh, I was like, I was like oh yeah, is our protagonist dead? And it was really weird because I remember the first interview talking about this cutscene when it came out. Yeah. Was two things. One, they wanted, um, they wanted you to be able to do everything in a cutscene in game. This party's getting crazy. Right. Let's rock. Um, this party's getting crazy. There's the line. Yeah. But also, like, Dante's level of durability in cutscenes is <laughs> exaggerated in compared to regular gameplay. Well, the, well, this is the introduction of cutscene Dante. Yes. This is what you should be aspiring to be, right? But cutscene Dante can take all the hits in the world and still keep his style up. I mean, here's the other thing too. This establishes as well the fact, well, not, not even, it's like, when you see Dante get impaled in the first game, it's not even remotely a big deal. Yeah, he's like, It oh. is the most nothing, because he's been in, impaled three times since we hit the start button. So that is a move you can do yeah. in the game, which is bop, 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 bop. kind of bad, <laughs> but you can it's do it bad. in the cutscenes, so you can bad. do it. But now watch on the upper left part of the screen where the sword comes from. Wait for it. Oh, it did, oh, thanks, sword! <laughs> <laughs> thanks, Rebellion! Self-assist. Self <laughs> Don't bet on it. Oh, boy. This also introduced uh, a crazy party. The style system. 
So my personal preference is always gonna be Swordmaster, but hey, 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 hey. I didn't. Hold on, I didn't think it was gonna actually exit out of that. Okay, okay. So let's pretend that some folks are actually seeing this for the first time. Yes, and I was gonna go over all the folks. Yeah, worry. Cool. So Trickster is the one that the game starts you off with, and for good reason. You gain a completely invincible dodge. You gain a air hop. Later on, you will gain the ability to... Does he get the teleport, or is that just Virgil? Teleport? He gets the teleport. He yeah. gets the teleport behind your head. Yeah, and he also gets a uh, fantastic air dash at the various levels of this. Mm -hmm. Swordmaster is a little more difficult to explain because it is per weapon. In Swordmaster for uh, the Rebellion, you'll get Prop Shredder and Aerial Rave. You'll get stuff like a huge auto combo called Dance Macabre. Dance Macabre. You'll get all sorts of shit, and that is per melee weapon. That's it opens up an entire second set of moves. All the stuff where Dante's using the sword like a, like a stripper pole. Yeah. Uh, Gunslinger is the Swordmaster for guns. It will make your guns better. This, this is the DMC2 style, essentially. <laughs> but sometimes. it is toned down because gunshots barely give any hits done whatsoever. But this is where you get your gun stingers and your fucking rainstorms and your All crazy. sorts of shit. Yeah. And then Royal Guard is for crazy people. Yeah! yeah all right, there, calm down. Uh, very simply, it gives you a block, but it is a timed block, and it also gives you a release, which is you turn your block energy into massive massive it's more than just a block it's a parry because it's a block when you hold right you get that but there's a parry window yes that is a perfect release i always found it really awkward to use because i would always end up just standing around waiting for it to the the deal is you have to you you have to just fight 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 and then, and then when, when the, something oh, when, comes in ba bam right and it's it, it returns the most damage of all of the styles yeah when you have a because you build up a meter and when that Royal Guard release meter is that maximum, it's instant, like, fucking yeah. rocking whatever you're, you're So, hitting. these are also... Because it's hard to use. ...essentially listed in orders of difficulty. Trickster is the easiest to use, by far, and is super good. Yeah. I would recommend it to anyone starting the, the, this game or series. Mobility. Uh, Swordmaster and Gunslinger, I would put uh, along the same. It's Swordmaster a little bit easier to use because it just gives you more moves, and Gunslinger gives you more moves, but for, I'm gonna say, not as good weapons. The guns aren't quite as good in this game. But if you're stupid like me, join the Royal Guard. Yeah. The, We're I, holding down that fort. The main thing that always bugged me about Royal Guard is that you lose, like, 15 moves available. It's, an ex it's a trade-off. one amazing, amazing <laughs> move. It's a trade-off. But you lose a shit ton. So I'm just gonna start with Trickster, if you and were, I'm gonna start rotating around. Please do. If you were a fan of Ma the Moon of Mahakala, Yes. For example, in, Bay in Bayonetta, that's where your royal that's where it came from, you're, right? you're part of the royal guard. So you have basically the same shit you had before uh, last yeah. time around. Uh, I, we're gonna assume you watched the DMC one LP. Early, yeah. Uh, blue orbs, purple orbs, which you're not allowed to buy in the early game. You're not allowed to buy until mission eight for whatever reason. But they are the, that's your DT game. Yeah. You get your actions, which they will just show you mission one. Before you start the game, you can look at what you can buy. Mm -hmm. You have your good old Stinger, you have your good old Air Hike, and you have a new one called Drive, which is the shit! Oh, it's fucking good. It's great! Rebellion is easily one of my favorite weapons in this game. Well, because Drive replaces, like, it really replaces um, um, a round trip. Yeah. Effectively. And if in this game you really do like your guns, you can beef up your gun power just straight up. I end up ignoring this on my first playthrough, like oh, the beef, default, gun beef. Yeah. default gun strength. Mm. But with the default, everything. And as you can see, the depth of that menu before even starting the game, yeah. this was uh, an embrace of the technical. Absolutely. In addition, you notice that I pointed out a one. So here's your trickster dodge. It's astonishingly good. Also, man, that gun. Look at that gun. Mm -hmm. You have to hit them for a while before they enter into a stagger state. Thank you, Red Orbs. Oh, they Man. just fly apart. So let's do... Oh, wow, they're all just flying apart, aren't they? Let's knock you down. And then... There we go. I hate that move. I don't think it's good at all. But the fact that you can do it is the most important part. It's just... It's like... 
It's just establishing it that like what you see can be done. That is your taunt. Which is vital if you're cool. Because you see the taunt shoved him onto S, right? And what that lets you do is basically continue your combo without actually attacking anything. If there's enemies around and you're taunting them, you're still being stylish. But the, the stylish menu uh, requires you to do variety. So if you start doing the same things over and over, you get punished for that and your style meter goes down. As long as you mix it up, it stays dynamic. So I was able to get a S there. Yeah, you were. It's, it's really easy to get S in these beginning areas if you have um, uh, Swordmaster. And as you can see, diminishing returns on it each time, of course, but... Yeah! yeah. Now you're Stylish. a There you go. So the style meter is governed by a shit ton of factors. How much damage you're doing, um, if you're hitting multiple enemies... Whether your move is crisp or not. Like if it, are, you know, have you used it? How are you? How are you yeah, there's it? a there's a timer on the strength of the style of each move, and of course later on weapon switching, which we won't have for a little bit. But that's a nice way to when you exhaust your your inventory and you exhaust your your you know your combo uh, uh, originality, switch up your weapon. Keep so, it going. yeah, Dante's default combo is one, two, three here, but he also has delay a little bit and hit this. And he also has million yeah. stab. Let's get the clean line on that. Yes! <laughs> oh, shit. You can also do that out of Stinger, which I don't currently have. And there's mission one. It just look. it just Looking at it, the visual, the difference between movement of all three games, it's just immediately the best movement right away. Yeah. Like... So I pointed out there was a one on that pizza box in the earlier oh, cutscene. Okay, that yeah. is because of one of the most bizarre Easter eggs I've ever seen. There are 20 missions in this game. And every, There's the one. Uh, and every single beginning of mission cutscene has the number of the mission hidden somewhere within it. For some it's reason, it's fucking weird. <laughs> it is one of the weirdest. And I don't, I've never seen this return as an Easter egg, but no, they, they didn't give a fuck. They didn't keep that. Yeah, if you can point them all out, please do, because I don't this remember where they all are. One hell of a party. Oh, did I get an S? Maybe. I think so. Maybe an A. Oh no! Oh. I spent too much time oh. sticking around. Yeah! 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 Hey! Oh, that's it. I'll, I'll take it. I'll take it. That happens a lot. Yeah. So this uh, has one of the most infuriating ranking systems ever, in which terrible the save orb, screen, by the way. This is such a, not a good save screen. Uh, the PS2, man. <laughs> uh, the orb shit is the worst part, by far, mm -hmm. where you have to get a certain number of orbs. You gotta collect them. Some in the environment, it's awful. But don't waste too much time collecting That's, those orbs. Yeah. So... Bless the little devil, little devil's like an iron hammer. Alright, so now that I did that, let's see how far Trickster leveled up. It leveled up a little bit. Just a little bit. Because <laughs> I didn't really use it all that much, I'll be honest. So let's go to Swordmaster. Uh, do I have enough to buy any of these? I do, in fact, have enough to buy Stinger. Everyone at home, if you're new to Devil May Cry 3, fucking buy Stinger. The advice from the last game applies. Now Stinger level 2 is available. But Stinger level 1 in this game, it's still pretty decent. It's still pretty good. As as experienced Pete players have said, the, the fact that we talk about Stinger so much, it's like, you shouldn't be Stingering everywhere. No, no, no. But not having it is, 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 is wild. Don't, don't do that. Don't do that. So the original demo for this was like, this mission... Where's the two? Uh, oh, it's all... Oh, don't you worry. Okay. Uh, it was that, that bar, and it was this mission, and totally right. it ended with the boss in mission yet. three. And people at TGS yeah. went crazy yeah. for it. The year that it was available. Put it on. Look at this. Look at this Dante. unnecessary coat. See that? No drugs, no alcohol. Just pizza. Yeah. And coats. And goofy <laughs> moments. Oh no! My sneeze destroyed my shop. 
can't believe it. Now check the billboard in the upper left. To cover all this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, this this bad music is great. Da, 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 so now that I have Swordmaster. You're free to die when you've had enough. Da. So if you're hitting more than one enemy with uh yeah. with that, that's an easy way. Is how you get it. Your eye Whoop. calls your bluff. So the main thing about uh, Swordmaster is that I have lost all of my dodges, essentially. Yeah. Which is going to lead to more t damage taken. But it, but it wants more offense out of you, right? Sure does. So, you know, it, it's uh, you can actually think about it in, um, in, in, in Souls game ways, if you're coming from a Souls game. Of like, like in Bloodborne's case, where it's like, no, just go more offensive. Way more offensive. Don't worry about your rolls anymore. Just fucking get in there. Yeah. Come on, man. Because yeah, the ability to dodge and avoid damage is like, you know, that's gonna keep you alive longest. Hell yeah, it is. But mixing it up with uh, some good sword moves. There you go. Yeah. Now you're now you're seeing some of the Marvel combos too. Absolutely, you are. <laughs> All that shit that, that they gave to him later on. Oh no, it's you! The enemy you have to kill with gunfire because your uh, melee attacks will just bounce right the fuck off. That explosion will also fucking wreck your shit. Oh yeah, well. So. But it also wrecked their shit too. Their shit. But you gotta, yeah. Create some space. I love the sand, the sand aesthetic these guys have. Yes, it's very it's nice. So good. And in the HD collection here, it still looks pretty good. Yeah. Surprisingly so. Oh, come back here. There we go. Ah, missed it. There we go. So like, Devil May Cry games tend to have these like isolated locations where the monster fighting happens. This moment is like on the streets in town. Yeah, which is quite rare for the series. Well, I mean, the MC2 not counting too. Here's the boss that ruined people's lives because it's just a mini boss, and it fucking stomped people. It stomped them. So Prop yeah. Shredder is not fast enough. Oh, man. So that right there, here's what you're getting used to. Every time that breakup opens... Let's see, let's see the next one. I'm trying. Oh, man. So that is audio cues, right? Bam. 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 So every time enemies attack in this game, they use audio cues. And you can eventually learn to react to those... Yeah, so and use that as your telltale for what's about to happen. So the, for example, the uh, Lusts, which are the pink guys, uh, they have an audio cue where they do <coughs> or some shit uh -huh. right before they attack. <coughs> right? The, 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 and, and that becomes really important because... Um, There's going to be off-screen enemies. And off-screen enemies don't attack you as often. Nope, but they will. And you have to listen for that. Holy shit, a big tower is coming up out of the ground. I can't believe it. This fucking tower has always just been... Te temeni... The Temene Gru. Temene Gru. Like, like, what? I don't know what that's a reference to. I don't, it's I've not. It's random devil shit. It Whatever. Just, Shut up. It's such a weird, specific Japanese-sounding name, I guess. Oh, we should talk about the difficulty. Oh, yeah. So, anybody who played this game back in 2004 or 5? Whatever. Um, Did y'all see the boy riding up on oh, that tower? The Did you see that boy? Yeah, oh, yeah. It's been nearly okay. a year since we last met. Um, Where does the time go? They would have bounced off this game super hard, most likely because this game is very, very, very difficult. However, the version that I'm playing today, and well for the rest, was good! is actually substantially easier than the U.S. release because it was actually had its difficulty kicked down to what the Japanese version was, which was normal. Yes. Uh, due to a bunch of fans talking to Ben Judd, Ben Judd convinced the developers 
to make the American version of the game a full difficulty level harder by default. Yep. Like God Hand. Like God Hand. So the, the God Hand, the no, lie difficulty no, we made the reference to yeah. right is based up is the fact that this game has the exact same thing where normal is hard. Um, I remember the games. And Japanese, Japanese normal is easy. Had uh, fucking uh, Greg Kasavin talk about how it took like a day to beat the boss I just bought. Mm. Be because he did like twice. I would have died if it was the original difficulty mm. in that fight. Because he does like twice as much damage it feels like. And everyone thinks this is normal? How is this believe, normal? How could this possibly be fucking normal? Yeah. And then Special Edition rectifies that. Yeah, it rectified it very well. Uh, and it, in in the process, and ended up adding a new difficulty to Western folks yeah. because they never had the actual very hard mode. And it's fine. To, it's like please have all those modes. Just don't lie about what they are. Don't do that. I come well. Doesn't it excite you? He's getting off in his pantaloons at all this demon shit. Temenigre, the great one who once ruled this earth as the medium between the human world and the demon world. It's like, if you're talking cool about my pappy, I'll tolerate Isn't your bullshit. It's a magnificent view. It is a pretty nice view. It's high. It's high. In their time, those who revered evil constructed The idea of revering the concept of evil. Now, after two millenniums of... Control, it's one of those... Because okay. Jesus was Sparta. Right. Which was intended. That's none of my concern. This voice actor's name is Daniel Southward. Is that of his course. name? Uh, he's taking. He good does care a great of job. Yeah, he sounds After super all, like nerdy, but it's it great. It is the only memento left from the mother you both lost. But he has no idea of its true power. There's a nasal, there's a nasally quality to yeah. every line. Oh shit! That it's I've the boss I love. just fought and barely beat. Look, it's the same boss. Daniel Southward. Southward. That is none of my concern. Oh my god, our rival character just beat the boss and died, had trouble beating and went, oh my god. Right. It's and, the simplest. And, and it's also, it's like, okay, uh, uh, Dante, cowboy, guns, swinging around, wild west. Yeah. Brother, blue, Asia. Japanese sword. Asia. <laughs> yeah, exactly. He would ride a horse if there if if, if Dante was hey, riding a horse. Hey, best girl. But, oh yeah, absolutely. Hey, let's all check out the burning enemies in this next shot, shall we? I thought you were going to say let's check out her age in this in this story. <laughs> oh, what's going to happen? What's going to happen? Oh, they made a 3. Oh my god. <laughs> Invade that colossal tower. Ladies' right. age, 16 or 17. FBI! FBI! The so Swordmaster ah! leveled up a bit more because I was a bigger fan of it. Let's switch on to Gunslinger for the next one. He's like, you know, Lady is a successful character design when it doesn't matter what she wears. Yeah, she's great. Every outfit they've put her in has been amazing. She always looks fucking boss. 66 Slum Avenue. Oh, these fucking weirdos. What are they called? Not Artemis, because it's the name of the weapon. Alright, so we've got our long-range enemies. Ready here to annoy everyone. Uh, that's the other thing, is in, in, try, in adding personality to young Spunky Dante, he fucking says shit All while, the time. while you're fighting the whole time. All the time. It's great. It's great. I believe you can charge your shots, yeah. But I'm not sure if it was only in the... Only because of guns... Ah, oh, fuck! Rain, storm... What? Who am I attacking? <laughs> well, that was not the yeah. proudest moment I've ever had. Go, like... It's, or, you know, or, it, it, I'm not very used to Gunslinger, would you believe it? Go back and watch that first trailer. Um... It's, uh, as they're introducing all these fucking moves, and like the slide into the, the introduction of, of Rainstorm in particular, just fucking. Uh, that's where I'm, that was the first like shit losing moment. Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing with fucking guns. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Just 
keep it, stick to the basics. My basics include moves <laughs> Swordmaster! Yeah. Everybody kind of locked on to their fucking style in this game. Like, very much. Yeah, these are enigmas. So if you shoot with the with this, you actually gain style until it stops. Until it stops. Yeah, I was gonna say you get you get more lenience on it, but you know, not that much. And uh, you don't have to some time, right? Like you have to buy that, right? No, no, you get it right away. Never. Okay. But you have to have an enemy to point at. Oh, that classic noise. Weird. Oh yeah, destroy all things. Destroy all, all things. things at all times. They must die. Get them fucking red orbs. This shouldn't be called Devil Must Cry, it should be called... Kill all objects. Fuck it. I was thinking of a table may die, but I fucked it up. Hmm. Furniture must die. Hey look, die. it's one of these! But before we do that, if you could be quiet for just one second... Ah! Oh, hey. Oh, goodbye, old battle. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Burr, burr. Um, yes, furniture must die. There you go. All right. Thank you. I did it. So, I'm not that great with the gunslinger on that, but with the Coyote A, also known as a shotgun. Oh, what? What? I, I just hit L2 and just... <gasps> oh, my God. So, let's, let's do a little bit of a test. So, here's your shotgun. It has now lost the bug from yeah, DMC1 yeah, 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 yeah. that allows it to just shoot like ba -bang, crazy. Ba -bang, ba -bang. It has now gained this instead. So who <laughs> fucking cares? It yeah. also has fireworks. Fireworks, baby. Which is why, yeah. Let's swing our shotgun like nunchucks. And just shoot it. <laughs> it also... Oh, I don't have it yet. Nope. Okay, you also later gain Stinger, but with the shotgun. Gun Stinger. Yeah. I don't let. We don't recommend using your shotgun like a nunchuck in real life. Never. Um. Oh, we're in Love Planet. Doesn't this love hotel fill you with like lust? This is clearly a hostess club, but whatever. Don't worry about that, America. It's a strip club. A really posh, weird-looking strip club. These textures are not the kind of textures you want to look at when when someone's dancing on the stage. This, this in particular, is just like... <laughs> And also, I just realized, look at this small area for the stripper. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there you go. Oh, what a dumb fucking piece of shit. So that's and, and like you get to see him do that later on with Crazy Dance, yeah, with uh, Dance Macabre. In um, the spin that yeah. comes out of it is Crazy Dance. Uh oh, uh oh. These guys are awesome, and it continues the DMC one tradition of cutscene. I don't care. You're 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 getting attacked the instant Ooh. this shit is over. Okay, so the shotgun does not even. So the actual fastest way to shoot the shotgun now is to jump. Well, I mean, again, just do the gun switch. No, I mean, look at, look. Okay. Like, it is bah -bah. much faster. That being said, it's not very stylish. All right, come on, guys. Oh, it's just the regular guys now. So fireworks looks great. Unfortunately, it um, it has some problems in that it often doesn't hit enemies within certain ranges of you. Well, because I mean, it's it's kind of a wild move. It's really like, yeah, it's not exactly targeting anything, right? Oh, hey. <laughs> right there. So the thing with Trickster is, uh, if I was stuck in that, I could just leave it. Like, very easily. Thanks, Trickster. Oh, fuck you guys. I forgot. I forgot this enemy type even existed. But I love them. Oh, no. I forgot how much jump invincibility you had in this game. It's wild. You get so much. Oh, yeah, there we go. Yeah, too soon. 
And, there we go. And that overhead swing does actually hit around the back. Hell yeah, it does. Yay, we did it. There's lots of crowd control and things that don't even look like they're crowd control. We did it, everyone. Okay, I legitimately fucking forgot that it juggles them by by itself. say just stop walking around even and that's that's that yeah